Yo. Alright. Welcome back to another episode. Another how to. Today we're fixing pedals. Mine are sort of the bit rotty, dirty, haven't done nothing with them except for rode them. So, figured it's a good enough time to clean out the bearings and re grease everything. So, let's get to it. Start off with removing this cap. So, nice little tool. Anything sharp, really, get it in there. And just pop the cap off. Alright, put it to the side. Don't lose it. Now we come to the fun part. You see in there, there's so it's only what is this? Twelve mil. So grab a twelve mil shifter. Well, anything. <sighs> All right. Now we've broken the seal. You can undo it. That was tight. Now just slowly, well, doesn't have to be slowly, but you don't know. Uh, yeah, nothing special about it. Just a maybe a. 11 mil nut, but 12 did the job. Once that's out, there's a washer. Here we go. We've got a special lock washer. Little indents on the inside. Then the bearing housing nut. Now that's about a, I think it was a 13, maybe a 14, but one of them. So, put in those pliers. Now these weren't done up tight, they're just there to hold the bearings in place. Now, this is the part where it's going to be tricky because now the bearings are free. So, Taking that out nice and slow. Placing it to the side, making sure there's no bearings on it. Grabbing a container. Now you should be able to turn upside down. Bearings already falling out. And remove the axle. Making sure you keep track of all the bearings. 13 bearings on each side. So, alright, them bearings aren't moving. But yeah, it is, it is 
just a small bearing housing lock nut, which doesn't really lock, lock, it's just enough to let the bearing still roll. You place them all to the side. Clean off all excess bearings off the axles. Place that to the side. And then, you know, let's just I'll count these. Three, four, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen there. And another 13 there. Now the pedals clear. No bearings, no bearings. All your bearings are to the side. You can grab your axle, your rags, degrease everything. Get your pedal degrease inside of it and chuck your bearings in for safety. Now, how do I do this? Let's just do it by magic. A few moments later, and with the power of technology, here's one that I've already, well, it's already done. Plain and simple. Everything's been emptied, no grease in them, no nothing. Everything's been wiped down. Now, we go for the fun part. Putting grease in everything. Don't be stingy on this one with your grease, because your pedals are your life. You need grease. Do you? Right, let's start by filling the pedals. Grabbing something that can reach. And lever it up. And the other side. All right, get your fingers and just wipe it around. Make sure you get every inch of it. More grease the better. I don't think anybody would argue that point. Right, that's all nice and greased up. Wipe the finger down. Don't know why I just done that. Because we need some grease around this face, the bearing nut. And again, don't be stingy. It is a messy job, but once you get it down, you'll be so much happier and you'll save a lot of money. Now, grease around the axle only at the crank end due to that's also where you got your bearing house so once you've got your pedals 
priest, your bearing nut grease, and your axle grease. You can go and get your bearings. So just bear with me. All right. Now that you've got your bearings all nice and clean as well, me, I soak my bearings in turpentine and then just wipe them down as good as you can get. Give them a little bit of a wash, make sure they're all clean. And then from there, it's just a matter of placing them back in to your pedals. So, grabbing five, we'll start at this end. Because they'll make it easier to put the cranks back in. So, one, two, Get something, yeah, you'll need something to be able to line them in properly. Right, that's fine. This is the tedious part. I would just fast forward, get them in. And I'll be back. All right, now you've got all your bearings in and you haven't lost any because damn, that's going to be a shame if you lose any. You can grab your axle and slowly place it in. Oh, I went the wrong way. 
Oops. All right. Once again, you can just slowly grab your axle, slowly place it in. The fun part will be coming out the other side. You don't want to disturb your bearings. Okay. Oh, I've made it free. You got your axles in. Time to go back to this lock on up. Now you got one more grease on it. So try and just slide it onto the axle. If you don't want too much grease everywhere, but we know it happens. And then slowly at the base off your pedal just slowly tighten it holding down the nut with your thumb until you can't reach it keeping everything tight letting go down here or your bearing highly possibly could fall out so once again uh, Put in those pliers because I don't have the right size for this. And just tie it back. Do it up, but don't tighten it. You do this nut up too tight, your pedals ain't, aren't gonna work. They won't roll, the bearings will just not do their job. So even if you have to play around with this nut for a few minutes longer than what you normally would, so be it. But to get this nut right is the biggest priority. So let's go up a little bit more. So when you think you're there, just stop. And spin. You'll know if you're happy. Right, once you've got that all nice, grabbing your washer again, make sure you get it the right way. And you'll know, hang on, let me just grab this one. You will know if you have it right. There's two flat points. On either side so that's where the locking mechanism really works so grab your washer work out where the flat parts are right here. probably won't even go on even if you did it wrong place that on tap it down nicely so it's placed now grab your lock nut you might as well say and lock it all into place. Done. Spin it again. Mine's too tight. So I've just got to back it off. And there you go. So between the uh, bearing housing nut and the lock nut, it might take a little bit of time. But yeah, once you get it, you've just saved yourself so much time money and everything so grabbing your lock nut your bleh, case nut now lock plate place that back on place it back on your bike and you're ready to go so hopefully this helps you hopefully it saves you money if it does help hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this Hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, oh pardon me, and get out and ride, and I'll see you next time.
Peace out.